guys! Thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Leah and today I am going to be reacting and commenting on um, one of my favorite channels um, called Poor Man, the Poor Man's Podcast. I will have a full clip down in the link below so you can watch it without me commenting or whatever. But um, I just thought that this was... Uh, I heard, heard someone talk, told me about this and I watched a little bit of it and I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to record like my reaction to this. It's like, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. All right, but anyways, let's get to the show. And um, um on, does a, a woman wait to matter to men? Men, okay, let's go. All these women that's big, they got these big ass kids behind them. Another right to iTunes. Okay. Sorry. Wait, set a track special vision like and a subscribe button for more content. Let's get right to the video. All right. When you said attractive, I'm just wondering, does that only apply to weight size or does that count for all levels? Like if somebody just doesn't think I'm attractive, my face, let's say I have perfect body, but my face is not attractive. Should people not accept me? Should people not accept you? Should people not accept Kim? Like, where do you draw the line? Uh -huh. Oh, well, you. I mean, I think we draw the line of things that you can change. What you mean by accept, though? You mean like, if you can change that's it, that's then you should try to be the best person of yourself. You that's how we do it. Pick one. What's the other one? What are the other ones? Things that you can change. Okay, wait. What else? Well, like you said, you can change your hair. So do you think men shouldn't accept women that don't have natural mm -hmm. hair? I don't know if we could talk about should. <laughs> I could talk about what is true and what isn't true. So do you think men don't accept women that have don't have natural hair? I think largely they don't like it. No, I think that men have. That is so true. Like, you know, like, I know that's sad. But I'm older now. And yes, I decided to grow out the locks. Honestly, I just got tired of trying to just straighten my hair and all the other stuff. Because look, I know that's what a lot of men prefer. Like, that, they just want that. They want to be able to run their hand through your hair and stuff like that. And I get it. Right? So, I know, I know. And hey, I know it's fucked up. It might seem, but damn. Options on average, so they will go with what's exactly. available. But <laughs> largely, they don't like Hale it. and Chantel, please continue. Oh, oh this is a big woman. Have you ever seen a big woman get out of a limo? Okay. Let's talk about the. Oh, you ever right. seen a big woman at the Abbey? Let's talk about the other thing. You know what? Excellent point. So you, you said that's what? That is not getting because I was in VIP. And someone asked one of our larger friends to not be in VIP. I've definitely seen and this happen. I don't know why women cap. I don't know why women cap and think that men like fat women. I mean, we know this. We see this. Look at I, look at videos. I mean, videos. Like these men. men prefer smaller women. So why are we saying that? Oh, what men should do a lot. Nobody is saying that. All I'm asking. What, what I'm just all trying to get is is just a way for women to try to make men have no, no standards. Fat shaming is just poor man. You can have fat women, is is women telling men that you can't not, but you have to accept fat women. You can so have any standard. Stuff. They're telling men that if you don't date women, that that if you don't like women that are trans women, no one here is saying that. Women. But then she says, should we not ex like at, at the beginning of the film, uh, of the role of the film, of the clip? I, I could have sworn she said, should we not accept them? So you no one here is saying slut shaming. They're saying you're slut shaming because you don't want to date a woman that's been around the block. These are all things that men Poor don't man. want. Women don't no want to one here is saying that. that. So they make up stupid phrases. Or how far is too far? Yeah. yeah. How far is too Let's far? Just be completely honest. Like you're it making does stuff matter. that no one on this panel has said. No yes. one here said that. No one. But he's. But, but there's a thing in general. Okay. And Taylor didn't but say. But Taylor didn't say. But Kay, the point he's making is actually a very valid point. Like, I get I, like even 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 what I just said, even what I just said, I've had people call me fat phobic for it. And you know what? I'll I'll gladly be fat phobic. That's what I, I, I am. I am the most fat phobic man out here. I'll gladly take that because this is what this is where we're at these days. Where just because a man has standards, we've created all of these words, all of these labels exactly. to shame a man for having standards. So let me ask let me ask poor man a question really quick. Poor man, how you doing? So, how are you? Now that we're in this new culture of damn, she thick. Mm -hmm. Where 
is the line on the thickness? Because someone spoke about Atlanta earlier, and there, there's, I'm from Atlanta, and I moved away when I turned 18, but I do have family members that swear that they're thick. And they're really fat. And they're big. <laughs> like, yeah, they big. Yeah. So where is the line? <laughs> Where's the line? Oh, oh, she thick and okay, she too big. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, look, look, I mean, a lot of women, women like, oh, be let's be honest, a lot of women do not want to hear that they're fat. If you're gonna call them fat, they want the P H A T, honey. They, mm, 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 mm. let's just be honest. I don't like that word. Yeah, I don't like that word. And I'll be like, she's too big, but, that, but, but because it's all in the ass area, it's like, okay, that's thick. But then, you know, when it's not in the ass area, oh, she big. You know what I mean? So where's the line for, like, the thickness? They know. I think they it just depends know. on the person. Well, it if it's depends not, on the person. What are your body dynamics? What are your, what are your measurements? If it's not proportional, you know. You know when you are fat, when you are not proportional. You gotta, when you see rolls... And you gotta do the tuck, the tuck, like the the flat. You know, look, 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 look. We we know. Can we just sit here and admit to ourselves in the mirror that hey, maybe we put on let our weight just run a little bit out of control. Like maybe we should regain some self control and stop eating and work out. And you know, we know that, man. Women don't. F- Y'all know the line. Y'all know the line. Largely, for African-American women in particular, a lot of them are blessed. And I love black women, by the way. Uh, (laughs) They are my favorite. But what I'm saying is, largely, black women are blessed, and so they're allowed to slip. And unfortunately, we didn't slip into a damn void. I'm (laughs) I'm tired of going to the store and seeing all these women that's big. They got these big-ass kids behind them. And I'm sorry if I'm not supposed to touch my bad. I ain't trying to be touched, but it, it's it's just getting, it's just getting bad, and there's no excuses for it. It does not take that long to exercise. It just doesn't. You know, women will spend hours a day make, doing makeup, looking at makeup tutorials, scrolling on Instagram. Get get up and just put on a 30 minute goddamn video or go for a walk. Man, it's not that hard. Just watch what you eat a little bit. You know? And the other thing you know, too is the other line. thing too is the other thing too is I think. We're also uh, not looking at, okay, are these men just, you know, just trying to smash? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, if she has, like, if he's just trying to smash, he might just see, okay, she has some nice assets, right? But are they looking at these women to, to wipe them up, right? And that's and that's the difference is that, like, a man might lust after you. doesn't mean that he's looking at you like, okay, I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to turn this woman into a wife. There's, there's a pretty, like, there's actually a pretty large gap, which is what smash the same. If you if you would not wipe her up, don't smash her. That, that's, that's the new... I think that's how I mentioned. And you think that that will get yeah. the message across to them that hey, you need to snatch it. You need to snatch it. <laughs> yes, because, Maybe. Yes, because you see some of these because women, right? Because men are having sex with them, they think that that, that that's yes. okay to remain that way. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what you, you see. Yeah. See, for you men, see some of these women men like they'll get thirty pounds that he know he gonna drop that weight because we know it affects us right away. Oh, yeah. See, women they have options no matter what because there are a lot of desperate men that don't get a lot of play, and like, men just. You are, wanna have my Honey, you're not fat. We're opportunistic when it comes to sex, and we have to be because we're designed to spread our seeds, and we just have less options. So we will do it, but that don't mean we want to wipe it. And some will wipe it, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that that's their preference. Their preference are thinner women, and I think that this is what we're seeing. This is why we're seeing a lot less black men being attracted to black women because so many of them are just overweight or obese, and it's a it's a huge problem. If we're just oh, talking about it, right? definitely a problem so in our community. What about the women? Yeah. Another question I have here. What about the women that are now skinny? Per Dr. Miami. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to look good aesthetically, but that doesn't necessarily Right. I mean, like they were fat. <laughs> oh. And they went to the, the back doctor. of their stomach and they put it in other places and now they're. Thick. Yeah, I You're mean, saying well, we know that. They're what what do we say about them? You know what I mean? Because it, it might, they still might be proportional. They're going to look more aesthetically they pleasing. They might still going to look more aesthetically pleasing, and that's why they do it. Yeah. And that's why multiple women do it. That's why an increasing amount of women do it, are doing it. But we can stay on weight all day, and at the end of the day, it's going to affect you aesthetically. 
and it's going to affect your health as well. Sorry, Kay, it just does. It's no, 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 Body composition, actually, is the thing that more so affects your health than weight itself. But that's a different conversation. Is now, the, the question that I have, the question, the question that I have, body composition. the question that I have, you clearly, okay. But the question that I have um, for you, poor man, or you, Jonathan, is what is another thing other than someone's size that people should not accept? As it relates to aesthetics. Well, we can talk about stuff that people don't accept. Women don't accept the men. No, 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 no. Because the word used was should not. Should. But we okay. don't live in a world of should. Okay, they live well, in a we world just of the hard. Hard. What Should is was reality? before. We don't live in a world of this should. I think be it was before, before you came on. So okay, maybe why, John okay, why, you, okay, why are you trying to put us in a corner? Like, the question I'm is. I'm not putting you in a corner. I'm just trying to make sure that you, you can stand on what you're saying. Because we're telling you, we're not saying, 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 I'm just wondering if that's the only thing people shouldn't accept in terms of aesthetics. We kind of got into the hair thing, but it was unclear. We changed the topic a little bit. I'm asking yeah, if there is. Well, tell you is what it is. I I'm understand. Not what it is. We're not talking about should. I'm not saying what should. Okay. I'm saying so we're changing. Don't accept okay. It. Okay, I agree that a lot of people I don't accept it. I think we're just talking about men preferences and what men, men like. Right, like, right, right. right. Men and, and the women. The whole time I've been agreeing with that. I don't think saying I don't think we should. Agreeing. We shouldn't be saying should because then you're telling men what to want. We're talking well, about what men actually want. Else and said, and I mean, I mean, that's why I asked him to Jonathan made a good point. And, and shout out to you for my podcast. Shout out to you for coming on. Um, you know, instead of putting men in a corner and saying, oh, it's fat phobia if you don't accept big women and you lose your body positivity, men should stand on their corner and say, no, if you weigh more than me, I'm not going to accept you. If you yeah. wear those lace front and those back eyelashes and those long fingernails, I'm not going to accept you. And if people can have whatever preference they want. Right, because I have no issue with that. If you, know, you want to talk about what women don't accept aesthetically, they don't accept short men. Mm -hmm. They don't. No. Are you so I, Absolutely Dylan, not. Did you date a short man? I did. Are you, are you serious right now, Kay? <laughs> when you <laughs> date a short man, she isn't with him now. She know all oh, man. She knows the average woman in America. Yo, we want a man that's taller than us. And if we could try to go for the giant, we will. Come on, uh, you're just lying to yourself. If you do not think that women do not have a list, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be he gotta have some hair, he gotta have money, he gotta be tall, he gotta have a, <laughs> he gotta big, he has to have big feet, and by big feet, y'all know what I mean by that. The stupid ass fucking analogy. But y'all know that we normally have a list, and on that list for physical attributes, height. Most definitely is one of them. You're only lying to yourself otherwise. So are y'all saying that you're 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 saying that you're
majority of them are on the spectrum that leads towards the slim and shape and fit body. Women have a preference on the spectrum of height when it comes to tall men. It goes up. They don't try to, they, they try not to go down, you know? So can we just accept those differences and understand that it might not be right? But, but, not but ideally, it's reality. I get that. You know? I understand that people, there's these general aesthetics, right? I get that there's these general preferences. I'm not arguing against that at all. But in terms of should or shouldn't or do or don't, we got to look at reality. That would be like me saying that women don't accept a man who doesn't make 100. Yes, they do, because the average man does not make 100K. So it's just the truth that women accept those men. That would be like women no, don't accept. No, women no, don't accept. No, no listen. That, that would be no. like women don't accept women, men, no. sorry, under no, six feet. The average man is not six feet. So obviously, women are accepting men no, under no, six feet. Hey, did you know that if a man is five no, four, he will, be, he will be rejected 90% of the time, as well as <laughs> any other uh, Damn! in his life? Guys, that's for the short dudes, right? Did you know that? I can 90% it. of the time, if a man is five, like four, I just said, be rejected. I can believe it. I and like it. Said, I know that there are these that were willing to admit that they would reject him. Imagine the amount of women that were just like, maybe I'll give him. I a understand. Him. That. They know he'll stand a chance. I'm not against. Right. In fact, we talked about this earlier. We know that I know that there are societal standards. People don't necessarily want, or at least in this country, I'm just going to speak on that. In America, people don't generally want people of a certain height, of a certain size, of a certain, you know, skin condition, of a certain teeth, straightness. I mean, I know that there are certain things that people look at and find attractive or not. In general, I get that. I'm not at okay, all. Poor, okay, okay, okay. Short men have it bad everywhere, okay? Like, a, a big part of this is actually evolutionary biology. Short men have it bad everywhere. They do. This is not just America. Everywhere. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's a different <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, they're not my friends. And that's the thing. You have to get to the show. You have to get to the show. You have to get to the show. No short show. There's no. Hypophobic. No one has coined short. Short. Oh my God, that's a tongue twister. Short phobia. No one has. No one has said claim short phobia. I have not yet heard that when a woman doesn't want to want to reject a guy wants to reject a guy simply because he's short there's no word for that poor man you can say you don't want any woman woman you don't want no one cares what you want unless it's a woman that wants you like i don't care she don't care though she don't care the likelihood of a short guy getting with a taller woman would have had to be a situation like mine where you met in a different space and you got to know this person and y'all found out y'all was compatible and they were in the face physically attractive and that just happened. But if you're out at the club, like if, he, if my ex was trying to start that relationship by like meeting me out somewhere, that would have never happened. Boy, bye. Like, yeah, y'all know y'all would have been, a lot of women would have call, probably called him a shrimp and all that. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Y'all know that. Y'all want the strong, tall looking Thor motherfucker, and that's so true. Or the tyrant, Tyrese or Tyrone. Yeah. It happened because <laughs> we work together. We what were an Enrique. We were together all the time. So, and he was a good person and funny and thoughtful, and he pursued me. You know what I'm saying? So, that's totally, that was a specialized situation. And I haven't dated anybody. That height since then. <laughs> that height. And, and, and what's very interesting about that is all of those standards only apply to men that are not physically attractive, and height does play a role in that. Now, if that man was physically attractive, he wouldn't have had to pursue. He wouldn't have had to go and be nice to you and do all these different things. If Poor man. Attractive, women. Those standards only exist for men that are not attractive. I probably wouldn't have to get to know him as much. Standards. I'm like, yeah, they kind of do, but it's not in the right areas. It's not in, is he a good father? It's not, is, it's not, a, does he have Meanwhile, a... Meanwhile, your job? standards yeah. are about weight and nothing. You haven't named, I've been asking this whole time but we were talking about, about other about things physical, and you have not. Attributes. And I now you're... No, no, Kate, 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 you're misframing it. No, 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 Kate, you're misframing this. You haven't asked us what other things do we value. You asked us. Like, I'm asking. You asked us what, hold up, hold up. You asked us what should people not accept aesthetically? 
Okay, but that's 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 not the way you just framed it though. Because you just I framed it like you don't care about anything else. Just but saying, not I was just saying. I wasn't framing. I wasn't trying to catch y'all. I was just saying that he's talking about all these not these intangibles, you know, these non-physical qualities, these other things. But I've talked about all physical qualities. I, I know, but with. now when you were talking about women, you were like, "Is he a good father?" Blah blah blah. I'm asking. So, like, why isn't that's, it that same? I'm just. But that's not aesthetic, right? Because you, yeah. you, you're saying we haven't mentioned. I know. He asked us for. I know, but when no one asked him about aesthetic. Well, what's 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 my my thing is, if she's my thing is, if with all of this, everyone seems to be in an agreement, and I'm just since it's already like 20 minutes, I'm just gonna call this in. But I'll put the link in there for the remainder of those who want to watch the um, last five minutes or so. Um, I think they all are in the agreement that everyone has preferences and that they should at least be able to um, pick their mates according to their preferences. We all know that some people are going to be left on the short end of the stick and um, are just going to pick for whatever is available around them due to where the moment, due to where they are at, um, due to their age. There could be a number of reasons why they just have to find someone for which they just want to settle their settle down their lives with and um to sit here and say that um and society no matter where you are in the world that weight does not matter um that a woman's weight does does not matter to a man i i just think there is something wrong with that and we we just i need to at least as women accept that there are certain things and norms that you know men would prefer to have especially if we want them to pay for things that's just the nature of it if we want them to do certain things and stuff like that i just don't think it's a lot to ask for to show some appreciation by staying in shape and you know um at least looking nice and all this other stuff so that's why i definitely think that you know when a woman's weight should matter to men and um um Hopefully, um, yeah, we all got preferences and we should not be forced to like someone just because we don't want to hurt their feelings like that. Anyways, um, yeah, I will probably make another video within the next week and um, yeah, I can't wait, wait to post more shit and um, yeah, have a good night, great day, whatever.